And thank you so much for coming here and showing your support to Mary Jo and to the phenomenal ladies of Angels of Mercy. They are truly a blessing and a gift from God. Um, I stand before you a 24-year survivor of commercial sexual exploitation and domestic violence. Um, I am here don't really care to share my story because I think it really is unnecessary. I think the fact that human beings are being bought and sold for sex should be story enough to motivate some change. Yes. Yes. I think the fact that children as young as 11 years old are turned out and trafficked into sex trafficking every single day. I was looking at my on my phone and I was just timing and in the time that she grabbed the microphone to when I grabbed the microphone 2,500 children have been trafficked standing right here right now at this moment that is the reality of the tragedy of human trafficking it doesn't happen just in Tibet or Cambodia or Vietnam it happens in Rochester, it happens in Greece, it happens in Pittsburgh, it happens in Victor and Hilton, it happens in your schools, it happens in your courtrooms, it happens everywhere. It crosses all socioeconomic lines, it crosses religious lines, political affiliations, race. The only color that these traffickers see is green, money. And 24 hours a day, they spend their time creating new and innovative ways to groom, coerce, manipulate, and force our children to become sex slaves and be raped for pay sometimes 20 times a day. That is an ugly truth. I stand here a proud survivor of sexual exploitation. I myself was never under pimp control but I have a lot of survivor sisters around this country right now who are pioneers and are blazing the way for survivor-led organizations like Angels of Mercy that are out there, we're hitting the streets, we're doing outreach, we're raising awareness, and we're educating people. And I implore you to educate yourselves about this. Ask the hard questions. When survivors speak, believe them. For many years, I spoke out about my abuse, and nobody believed me. I was deemed a whore, and he was sent off to receive a military accommodation. I was 15. I had dreams of going to college to be a psychologist. I eventually decided, oh, you know, when you don't know what you want to be when you grow up, I said, no, I want to be a lawyer, and I want to fight for women's rights. Never did I wake up and say, I think I'm going to choose to be a prostitute today. It's not a choice. And these are all of the stereotypes and, and, and the victim shaming and the rape culture that we see every day. I thank you to all of our congressmen and our assemblymen and our politicians, local and state and federal, that have taken a stand and said we're not taking this anymore. We are going to come together. We're going to cross political affiliations. We're going to stop arguing about who's bigger and who's better. And we're going to come together and take a stand. We're going to protect our children. And I applaud them. Thank you, Mary Jo, and every single solitary one of these women at Angels of Mercy are women who love God, are women who are allies, some survivors, that are just some of the most non-judgmental, loving, accepting individuals I have ever encountered in my life.